Was it a devout household as you remember it? Not in the sense of saying the rosary uh, every evening and being down on the knees. Uh, you didn't? No. It was a house where we went to, uh, to Mass every Sunday, either in the local church or in Castle Bar. I observed all the, all the um, religious occasions, uh, but it certainly wasn't by any means extreme. It took the, the hand of a strong woman to guide you into the safe haven of matrimony and, as it were, <laughs> settle you down. Which brings us to Fanula O'Kelly, who was the present Mrs. Kenny. Tell me about her and how you met. Uh, I, I first saw her at the corridors in Leinster House. Um, and obviously I was very attracted to her. Were you? I was. Um, she, um, I have never met anybody like her in the sense of um, an attraction there that I, I just couldn't resist. Did she feel the same way about you when her eye fell upon you as you did about her? I hope she did. No, don't hope, did she? She did. After the Cloyne report you spoke about, and very eloquently so, in the Doy. Why, why did you get emotional during that when you were talking about the babies and, and, and you, 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 you were overcome? What was the thought that struck you? Then? Things could have been so different. And things should have been so different. And I suppose it's all, a, you know, so many examples of, of human emotion piling up here that sometimes words draw these things out. And American senators and congressmen have said to me, you know something, I wish to God I had the courage to say what you said. 